Hello and welcome. My name is Carsten Lützen. I am a Scrum Master and a Agile Coach. Today I will talk about ta-da! user stories. Um, I guess most of you are familiar with user stories. If not, this will be a general introduction. If you are, maybe I can add something to your, um, to your view on user stories. So, if you like these videos, please subscribe and share. That would be super, super awesome. Many of us have heard the term user story and I see it being referenced all over the place. And there are some nice things about user stories, but there are also some things that where user stories are not really the best suited tool. And I've also seen people believe that in Scrum that a backlog has to be user stories. That's not true. The Scrum Guide doesn't say anything about that. It just happens to be that user stories are often a good choice. So the format is rather simple, can be a bit lengthy though, but as a type of user, I want to some action such that some value. One of the classic things that people do is then, as a user, I want to log in such that I can see my profile. And when you see introductions to user stories, people often start with as a user, but the people using your systems, they don't get out of bed in the morning and thinking, I want to be a user today. And a user is a super broad term. When I coach people or help people with user stories, I would always aim to be a to get this to be a specific type of user or even better, a persona. So um, as a registered user, I want to something, something, such that something, something. And I've also seen people omit this last part, but this is where it gets really interesting. So the first one here is who or who are doing this. The second one is what are they doing? This is very much for the developers strictly speaking, right, uh, or stereotypically speaking, the sum action is very much for the developers. And the last one is so we can discuss, is the value we get from this big enough to do it? So this is very much for the uh, product owner, product manager, and the team to talk with the stakeholders, especially because most teams, if not all teams, have a longer backlog, right? So where do we get the highest value? And that leads to this awesome quote by Alistair Coburn, that stories are promises for future uh, conversations, or stories are promises for conversations, which is the, exactly what they are. This is not something that you can just go do. You need to refine it even more to figure out how can I see that this is done? What are the signs of that this is done? How will this persona see that this is done? So as, uh, as Brian, I want to log in such that I can uh, see my receipts. Okay, so see receipts is probably something also with legal or something. So that high value, okay, super. Then we need to put acceptance criteria and so on. So that is user stories at a glance and just if you google it you will find tons of examples and I'll also in the description add some links to some really some of the best articles I have found and blog posts on user stories. I'm hoping that if you have tweaks or good ideas then please share them, share them that would be awesome and as always comments questions ideas and feedback to these videos are always welcome. Have a super awesome day.